so when the palate is played from the swell open diapase at the low 12 notes, so if let's say low C sharp, which is over here, is played, he pushes the uh, key down, which opens the palate in the chest. And when the palate opens up, it allows air to be funneled into that lead tube. It just sends it. And when it goes, it funnels in that lead tube, there's a little relay here which inflates that little diaphragm, that little sac here, okay. will fill up with air, just puffs it up. It's little puffers, they call it. And when that puffs up, you can see it fills this up. When air lifts this thing up, which on the end of it, you can see a little lead tube here with the little leather felt disc that right. closed. So basically that's opening up another square pneumatic inside, which exhausts and pulls a valve up, which allows a larger quantity of air, because that would be enough to let the pipe speak. So they were inside here, you can see the camera, but they were inside there getting more tolerance to it, because if you're so close with tolerance, it's not giving enough air for mm -hmm. a big pipe like that to speak. So, so uh, there's one unit here for three pipes, and then the other side has another unit of three pipes, or, or six, because there's a couple other ones in the facade mixed right. in there with some of the tuners that haven't been moved are those pipes that are mixed in. So it's good to see where they're all, all at. Yeah. So and just out of curiosity, looking at the, the back and side of the pipes, the the flaps, if you will, yeah. you know, that are at d different angles and some are flat and covered up, are those voicings? Those are the tunings. Oh, so that's that tuning. makes it longer short. I could roll those up, but I've... I think that that'll cause a lot more stress on the metals, and okay. so it's just easily moved them out. If there is a situation where it causes some vibration, then we can add some felt and roll them up. I'm just uh, working it this way to get them in tune, and then we can okay. see if we want to address that. Uh, but that's the tuning, that's not the That's the tuning, that makes okay. the pipe longer or shorter. Okay. So those uh, flaps were replaced where they were necessarily needed to be replaced, and those that were, were still original. We have original ones. We have to be careful to see, you know, what the quality of the metal is. But, mm -hmm. but that's for tuning, correct? Voicing over here. I don't know if I can get that. We, we get it on the top. Voicing over here. Those flaps yeah, that are coming. Yeah, out. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm not going to get it from here. I can get it from inside. The voicing. What we were doing is when they had it on the painting, they moved the pipes and things. So when the tolerances change, tolerances such as the lower lip or the upper lip gets moved in or out because of handling mm -hmm. fractions. And inside there is a flat piece of metal called the languid that's soldered in the joint across. Okay. And so when the air sheet, wind sheet, comes through the foot, it's going to split by that opening and then the air is going to hit here and the other half is going to go inside the pipe. So with the voicing is you have to find that fine regulation. It's, you could call it like a river and what uh, and it's, instead of water, it's air. And when that river goes through here, there's eddy currents. So sometimes the air, where air wants to shift around, hence the ears are trying to keep everything directed. So I'm going to check that if this hasn't been closed or if the lip language has settled it down and adjust that this afternoon too. So they start to speak. And they, they had these things all figured out in 1896. Yeah. Or even before that. Yeah. 